Hi guys, it's Christian and Michelle. Yay! Um, sorry it's been so long. There's been a lot of stuff going on. We really want to do more videos. Um, we just had a lot of stuff. And you might uh, detect a slightly somber uh, tone as we continue because we just watched a really heavy movie. Mm -hmm. 12 Years a Slave. Yep. Unbelievable. Phenomenal. I'd seen it before. My lady did not. Um, that's how much I love her. I sat through that again. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's incredibly excruciating and painful. Um, of course, it's it's actually a true story, uh, based on a gentleman who was a free man in the North in Saratoga, New York, and he had a wife and family, and he was a a renowned violinist, and he got kidnapped and put into slavery for twelve years, uh, and then finally managed to get word out. Uh, to his old friends and, and was able to regain his freedom and then spent the rest of his life being an activist being an activist right and spreading trying to lift people up right so lift people out of of the personal hell that he had gone through and tried to help he spent the rest of his days doing that so that's uh, what we are compelled to talk about today is um, kind of spreading the gifts spreading the joy like what gifts do we have personally that can impact the lives of other people yeah. to make things possibly change in a positive way, either for someone that we might meet or for a circumstance that somebody might be in. Um, and that's one of the things that actually bonds Christian and I, yeah. is that we both feel very strongly about wanting to do good for other ones, other people. I think that's actually one of our strongest <clears throat> bonds. One of the things that we really, we see in each other, we celebrate in each other. You know, we don't have a lot of power or uh, money or anything like that, but what we do have is our hearts. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have- <laughs> We're so real. We have gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so smooth. Um, <laughs> sort of think let me, let me get back to the okay. <laughs> okay, center. <laughs> what we do have, though, is our hearts. Um, uh, we and and but what we also have, and I was just talking to her about this as we were devastated, and at the end of the movie, um, is that we have something a lot of people don't, and we understand this, and that's each other. And I said we have a partner who absolutely understands. The other and sees the other and would go to war for the other right we have absolute loyalty uh, and trust in each other and that's something you know that shores us up right that allows us to uh, take on more difficult things and, <clears throat> and, and kind of lay ourselves out there um, and we do understand that we understand that we have that benefit and, and we're very very grateful, grateful for it because I was even speaking with a young lady today <sighs> Who's going through a very similar background situation as myself. If you've been following us for a little while, you may have seen my past post about my my indoctrination and where I come from. And there are a lot of individuals who find themselves in what may feel like for them the fight of their life. It doesn't have to be some, you know, sensational on the television type situation that somebody uh, is in for it to be uh, monumental. Yeah, you don't have to be hanging off a building, right, for it to be for, for, for that person, life or death. That's right. And what stuck with me in the process of talking with this young lady was that... She had, for a moment, and I don't believe that it's her last opportunity, but she had for a moment what she believed was somebody that could give her solace and comfort and support through her process. Ultimately, that situation did not work out, and, and so it's been a large loss for her. Um, but because I do have it, because I have Christian, because I have the strength that he provides for me, he affords me the platform 
to be able to expend myself in a way that I am passionate about. And that is showing love to the best of my ability to whoever it is that might need someone who feels that they're, they're, they need to be seen, they need to be heard. And so I think the whole purpose of my telling that particular story and I think the purpose behind why we're choosing to do this particular subject is the powerful, powerful results and benefits of showing genuine love. Yeah. We can't necessarily change everybody's personal circumstances. Even though we'd like to. Oh, God. Mm. But we can show love, we can show compassion, and we can show care. And there's, I'm not saying that it is an invisible quality that doesn't exist within humanity. We all know that it does. We've seen many examples of it. But what are we choosing to do with our lives? What are we choosing to do in our private time and who we might interact with that nobody else is ever going to know about? Yeah. The person at the gas station, yeah. the person standing in line at the store, exactly. or the person on Facebook who might be feeling alone and unsupported or unheard. Again, we, we may not have the power to make any universal changes, but we do have a tremendous power and gift in being able to show love. And so, I just, I believe that Christian and I feel very strongly about wanting people to not only see that there is this kind of love that I'm very grateful for, <laughs> provides me again with a foundation and a platform emotionally and energy wise to be able to work off of but and I know he feels the same way 100% 100% but uh, there's this kind of love that a partnership can provide but we don't have to be in a relationship to show people that we love them exactly and that they're valuable and important and that they're seen and that they're heard and that they're cared about oh. and just that small experience even if it's just one small thing in a day could literally change the course of somebody's life 100 percent, right when someone's drowning when you throw out that lifeline you know it's, it just means the world um the other thing we were talking about too is is the willingness to you know, you get out, you, you've, you've traveled, you've walked through the fire, right? You've traveled the hard path, you've found someone, or you've found a good place, you've got yourself together. So, we are both willing, though, to to tell our story and to and to tell... That would be my cats. Sorry. They just want they wanted to they wanted to show out yeah. a little bit. Just that's for you guys. You know what's so funny is every little time we do something like this... I know, they go crazy. They yeah, yeah, they're like, wonky. pay attention to me, pay attention to me. <laughs> so... <laughs> See, so we're back. <laughs> no, but 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 we feel that we have the responsibility to, and again bolstered by our partner, to go back and to relive the pain to show them that they can get through. That's why these videos are here. Uh, you can go back and see a little bit of my story. We'll get more into that later. Um, you see, you see Michelle's story, um, and to show them that they're not alone, to show them they're not the first to go through it, to show them that someone's gone through it and can and, and has come out the other side. But in order to do that, you have to address that pain in yourself, and it sucks, right? It sucks. It's hard to go. She was so brave, man, last time, you know, going over a story. And it's so hard to do that. And But we feel a responsibility to do it. Um, and one of the coolest things about being together is that when we go out... And, and like we're not even talking going out as in going clubbing although that too we love to go dancing um, we go to the grocery store we go you know wherever right people come up to us and goes, oh my god you guys are awesome you guys are amazing we're wearing matching twin flame shirts on Valentine's <laughs> Day it was very dark and wonderful and we had multiple we had so people we had multiple people 
come and talk to us about it. Like, have real conversations, like serious conversations. Again. Asking us about, what yeah, does that mean? Like, what does that mean? Or how do you do it? Or I think that I have this, but could I talk to you to see if I actually do? Exactly. So that kind of thing, it, it, it might be, it might only seem like a, a, a droplet in the barrel, you know, but each droplet adds to the amount of water. That's right. Right, and and so each person that that we manage somehow to to lift up in whatever way, shape, or form, whether it's being on panto like gofe or having a serious conversation or whatever, that's that's another drop in that bucket, you know. That's another drop, mm -hmm. and um, it's really important. And I'm gonna get a little emotional because the movie does that to me. It's really important if more people would just reach out a hand. Right to those who are who are drowning, this world would be a much better place. And so I think we're just trying to encourage you. It's like if you find a good, you're in a good place in your life, and you're feeling confident, you're feeling good. Don't be afraid to look back and see the person who's still stumbling. Pause for a second and reach out your hand. Right. Um, There's so much good the, that can be done. Yeah, and just the action of doing that. Just you taking that moment, right, is going to lift them up more than you can even imagine. We, we've both had people do that for us that have gotten us through our dark times. Um, a little shout out to my mom. I'd probably not be alive if it weren't for her. Um, and a black cat named Georgie. That's another story. Don't worry about it. But <laughs> I owe him a lot, too. Um, so we're for, just encouraging and, you. And for me, it's my girls. I've, yeah. I've had to hold on to that yeah. as my lifeline. Um, but that is certainly not to say that I haven't had a amazing help. And the largest contributor to that aspect of where I'm at and who, who I've become as a person is this gentleman sitting next to me. As mine as her. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, that's that's our message. That's our message for today. Sorry, we're scripted. Can you tell? Uh, that's our message that's what makes it fun for us today. <laughs> oh my heavens! We need to laugh though too because we were just bawling our ass out. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's it. That's what we got for you today, yeah? That's, that's um, all I got. I'm worn out. I know, right? We're done. We're going to drink and maybe eat some edibles and watch <laughs> Ace Ventura because really need some goofiness right now. Um, and we love you guys. We do, we do. I know, I know people say that, but I hope if you've watched a few of our videos, you understand that we truly do. Really do. And we would love to hear from you if you want to reach out. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, let's get the word out. I know we've been dark for about three weeks, uh, and I apologize for that again. We again, gonna... I've got a story that I'm going to want to share that's been kind of culminating in the last three weeks, and I've had to basically use all of my energy to yeah. focus on that. Yeah. Do you want to do that next time? Yeah. I, no. Next time, I would like to share uh, what I really what is story. actually a really great it's story. It's an awesome story. So, it's the best. You'll have something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did that really well because I was a professional ballet dancer for a lot of years. Don't blame me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we love you guys. Um, thank you so much for listening as always. Bye. Peace.